Hello everybody, how are you? I hope you're all well. What are you doing during this quarantine? I wish you're not getting bored. Me and my group mates have continued the virus kind of project making this video about HIV. It won't be like a live presentation, but I think you'll appreciate it too. Let's start. We are here to talk about the HIV virus, but let's take things in order. First of all, what is a virus? Well, a virus is an organism that can only reproduce itself when living in other organisms. So that is why viruses can live in our body and infect us. In fact, I use this word. So what does infection really mean? We all know that infections are diseases. And that's right. But they're not only diseases. They're the invasion of our body by the virus and its reproduction. In a nutshell, viruses are the agents that infect the body and the consequences are called diseases. The infection of the HIV virus is AIDS. I think you all know it. Now, a normal question to ask is, where do the viruses come from? Viruses are all different and have different stories, so I'll tell you the life of HIV. Probably HIV first appeared in Kinshasa, in Congo, in 1920. The virus was present in animals' blood, especially in monkeys' blood. And for more than 60 years, humanity wasn't aware of this virus. HIV was only discovered in 1983 by Luc Montagnier, a French scientist who won the Nobel Prize for Chemistry in 2008. But why wasn't HIV discovered earlier? Let me answer this question. That is because of the symptoms. You see, in HIV, the symptoms don't show themselves or aren't that strange. They are principal fever, muscle aches, joint pains, and sore throat. All this make you think of a flu, but it is not. After a long time, the symptoms change and become more serious. They can cause neural syndromes and anorexia. But the worst arrives later, if you contract HIV, but are unaware of it, or ignore it. Life expectancy after infection is only between 9 and half years, taking into account that there is no cure or rate. There are therapies, but they can only postpone your death. It isn't that strange that this virus has killed more than 32 million people. But how can this virus be transmitted? Well, the most frequent way of transmission is through sexual contact with an infected person. Because of that, we created a product that can be helpful for fighting the spread of the virus. This is the way we made our article. The first question we asked ourselves was, what people pay most attention to? The answer we found was clothes. We made researches, and what we found is that now people spend more money on clothes than any other thing. So we thought, well, if people pay a lot of attention to clothes, then why don't we make clothes? So we created this, the No More About HIV Underpants. Basically, we have created a pair of underpants that through attractive and funny slogans spread information about this virus. Also, we wanted to share our product via social networks and big online platforms. Why this choice? Well, because we understood that we primarily have to make young people know more about this virus. And these days, young people, like us, spend a lot of time using social networks and doing shopping online using platforms like Amazon. Here is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Goodbye from the Box Scientists.